Hello today and we're going to have a game of Lemmings. Yes, Lemmings. For the Commodore Amiga this time. Um, yeah, we're going to watch the intro. Um, had this back in the day. Very, very, very good game. This was highly addictive. Um, actually completed this game. Um, had this on a pack with uh, Lemmings and oh no, more Lemmings. And the Christmas... Xmas Lemmings was a bonus really so a nice little package there um, really really had fun with these games it took me ages to complete these but we're just going to have a little play through on this just for old time's sakes and do a little review on it well, let's say review, it's never a review is it I don't know, even know why I call it a review well sorry, who cares let's go on with the game yes as we see so all we have to do on this level is just dig as easy as that that's why it's called fun, but believe me, it don't always like this all the way through the game. I think you get four different levels of hardness. I think there's about, I can't remember how many levels there is per, um, how many, yeah, per hardness of level. How many levels, oh, I'm not making no bloody sense, am I? You know what I'm fucking talking about. Well, I hope you do anyway. So, yeah. So this game is an all-time classic, one of my favourite games I ever played for the Amiga. So you get a little code here. So what you do, you write that code down so you don't have to keep replaying the first level. So that's how you complete you Every level you complete, there's a code. So you write the code down. Believe me, you will need them if you want to play to complete the game. Um, so, yeah. So this is just, as I say, just fun. Gets you into the game. Gets you to know all the like the, all the different move and the moves. Um, all the different um, what the characters can do. So you can get fun means you can just get to try out all the um, the different things one by one. But I think at the end of the levels you get to use two simultaneously or three or whatever. Then it gets a little bit harder then you start having to use your brain which i thought was a very good game um it's all about strategy strategy rather um yeah i've only really only had it back in the day for the amiga um well obviously i know it come out in the eight bits um but I didn't have them on the 8-bit, so as I say, the first time I played it was on the Amiga. Um, and I, I honestly thought, brilliant, it is a good strategy game. Um, glad I had them, and Oh No More Lemmings. It's exactly the same, Oh No More Lemmings, just set for different um, levels, of course. Um, yeah. Varied musics, varied music rather, in all the levels. Obviously it loops back when it runs out of music, but very, very good. And you know, I have to say this, it is good to play this again. It feels, you know, it feels the same as it, I was playing it on the Amiga actually. The curse is nice and responsive on this emulator. Um, so you push your right button, makes the screen go faster. But believe me, you're going to have levels where the screen is going to be so long. As long as that button, as this, the screen, the screen's gonna, you know, you're gonna start there and end there, and there's gonna be lots of different tasks to do. It does get bloody hard. Um, all you need a challenge. It's a good challenge. So now we, I'm gonna wait for the time to run out. So we're gonna nuke the rest of these. So it's all good. <laughs> such a good effect you know they thought of everything with this game they really did think of everything it's really cleverly done graphics wise is really decent so now uh, what do we have to do here ah so now we've got, a, got climbers and a pickaxe person so we've got only one so you do it does get a bit tough towards the end because you have um, a limited amount of what 
up here and you've got to work it out strategically how it's going to how they're going to do it or well, one lemming's got to do one thing another lemming's got to do something else it is a clever game very clever game So what we've got to do is put all these on climbers. So we've got two climbers on this, these two. Yeah, so it's just going to climb up and... Yeah, so we're going to walk back. Yeah, so, so we're only in screen... I just see a single screen at the moment. But and you always get a different percentage of how many lemmings have to get back and when it gets to the, um, like the harder levels it's usually around about 100% or near enough so you've got to be exact and you do get a time limit to do it in as well um, so what we're going to do, we're going to make this the final level so say it's a little bit longer now um, so we just got to use bashers on this one. Um, <laughs> very good, very good. Uh, so we just got to bash our way through these. So see, so once you've done the easy, it is very easy. These um, on fun, very easy. Um, but it's good to get you into the game. Oh bloody hell, oh, we'll bash through these. Oh no, no, no. I surely can't balls this up. Get about 50, here we go. Excellent, so we can use that to speed them up. There they come. Marching out, lemmings. Brilliant game, brilliant game. Um, what was going to say about it? Um, no, not really. Because <laughs> I'm sure everyone must have played this game. Whoever owned an Amiga must have played this game. But what we're we going to do, actually, just for a little bit of fun, um, we're not going to continue on the fun level. Um, see, every time you get a code, so. Wonder. It's usually I thought you could have. Oh, I can't remember now. Ah, you push escape. Ah, that's what you do. Left button, right button for menu. There you go. So what we're going to do? Tricky taxi mayhem. So obviously mayhem is the hardest of the levels, and we're going to try it again. Um, what's that? Effects. Oh, you can choose from music and effects. You can turn the music off if you want. Right, now you're going to see how hard this is going to be. Still works, and it gives you like a subtle hints sometimes on how to play the game. Number of lemmings, 90% uh, to be saved. Release rate 15, so that can all change. So you get 8 minutes to complete this level. So you're going to probably need it to um, plan your strategy. Um, right, let's see what happens. And the good thing about this game, you can pause it and have a good think through. So you see what you've got here. This is how many um, floaters you've got, explodums, blockers, bridge builders and diggers. So you see how many there is. So then you've got to plan your strategy out and you can have a good look at your, have a good look at the map. So basically, you've got to get all the lemmings to that point there and looks a bit of a looks a bit of a mission this one do we get blockers yes we do get blockers so let's have an attempt on this um, so what we're gonna have to do is unpause it that one's gonna oh shit bloody hell so they fall straight away and they die so, I don't know what the hell. Oh dear. Uh, so, 
he's going to have to build a bridge straight away, isn't it? No. Bloody hell. They have dropped me into the deep end. I didn't realise it was this bloody hard. I'm just too slow. Oh, I can use cursors to select it, actually. So I'm going to have to... Oh, bloody hell, I was too slow again. So, right. Oh, no, I'm too slow. And I've run out of floaters, so really, I have fucked up the level. <laughs> yeah, so you've got to have a good think about this. And I say, I did complete it back in the day. Um, damn, so there's no point continuing. So I might as well push the new button. And that will end the gut level. And you do continue, continue and continue. There's no lives, all sort of thing, so you can continue as long as you've got your code. And um, that's it, really. Yes, it is a very, very good game. You can even play two players. Um, doing this, uh, let's just have a look at two player, actually. I can't remember two player too well. But I think it gives you a different set of levels. Yeah, look. So it's the first one to complete the game, I think. Oh yeah, you need two mouses, of course. Um, so yeah, it's the first one to complete. Yeah, it's a very good game, this is. Excellent game. Anyway, I'm going to end this review now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.